10 lines of prompt and let's see if this gives us the same quality than before. I will go with you through this prompt after we played through the campaign. So here is our character, Tharlon Greenbottle. That's funny and we are a halfling so it matches. And we are again a rogue. Crazy. And we are chaotic neutral. So this is probably alignment, chaotic neutral. This is the, the god in Dungeons and Dragons. So our ability scores are a, an 8, 16, very good dexterity and high charismatic, but not that strong, which is typical for a halfling, I guess. Oh my god, our hit points are so low. And actually, I hope that JetGPT kills us today. Yes, I wanted JetGPT to kill me in those Dungeons and Dragons games over and over, but somehow it was always too nice. It was still an assistant. So maybe GPT-40 is able to kill us today. So if we take a bad decision, for example, we have skills like stealth, sleight of hand, like stealing, pickpocketing and deception, like all those rogue criminal kind of skills and equipment, leather armor and dagger, which is really, really weak. Yeah, we are not like the best fighter. We have a short bow with arrows, that's cool. We have some thieves tools, a backpack with some clothes to get hooded, a crowbar, 50 feet of rope, 10 days of rations and a water skin. And we are very lucky if we have the highest of fails, we can roll again. That's really amazing. And sneak attacks and stuff like this. So let's start into the campaign. You find yourself at the edge of a dense and foreboding forest. Rumors of an ancient tomb filled with a treasure of dead and deadly traps have drawn you here. Your tomb is said to be cursed and none who enter have ever returned. Wow, okay, crazy. This does not deter you as the promise of riches and glory far outweighs the danger in your eyes. Entering the forest, you send the entrance of the forest with a dense. Oh no, I forgot to set the maximum tokens, yeah. This was the first time that I run this and in normal ChatGPT you don't have to give the maximum tokens. I'm so sorry. I hope that it continues. So it continues a little bit. The sounds of unknown creatures echo in the distance. Okay, proceed cautiously into the forest, keeping an eye out for any dangers. Use your stealth skills to move quietly and avoid being detected. Try to climb one of the trees to get a better look. So like I said, this is JetGPT 4.0 and I prompted it to have a common sense. And let's see if this works. If this is actually possible. I want to prompt it something stupid and let's see if it allows me to do this. Run head on as fast as I can until I hit something. Running headlong into an unknown forest isn't the wisest decision. There we go. Given your background as a rogue, it might be better to use your skills to navigate the forest safely. Here's a suggestion. JetGPT40, I love you. Now if you can please kill me, I love you even more. <laughs> Thank you. Use your stealth skills to move quietly. So we want to die, but maybe not in the first second. This is the suggestion. So we, I think we use, and now it's really quick, like three and a half seconds for a thousand tokens. So the first one was maybe a little bit slower. We use our stealth skills. So let's try to do this and just enter B. Oh, roll for stealth. Total of 18, okay. You move through the forest with the grace and silence of a shadow. You hear the sounds of distant movement, but manage to avoid any direct encounters. Approaching the tomb. After an hour of cautious navigation, you come across a clearing, a weather-worn stone entrance partially covered in vines and moss. This must be the entrance to the Forbidden Tomb. The entrance is dark and uninviting with an ominous chill emanating from it. What do you want to do? Now we can be a little bit more reckless. Maybe we can injure ourselves or even die. Let's see if this works, if ChatGPT is able to kill me. I hope so. Draw our dagger, just proceed into the tomb. You choose to proceed into the tomb without drawing your dagger. The entrance is narrow and requires you to sidestep past protruding stones and overgrown vines. Like it's a very narrow entrance, like maybe some rocks falling down already. You find yourself in a small chamber. The walls are adorned with faded, so I'm in the first chamber now, with faded carvings depicting scenes of ancient rituals. In the center stands a stone pedestal holding a small dust-covered idol. There are two exits, a narrow passage 
and a more ornate door to the right. We can try and do something dangerous. Just pick up the idol. You approach the pedestal and reach out to pick up the idol, ignoring any potential dangers. As your fingers close around the dusty artifact, the pedestal suddenly depresses with a grating noise, like from Indiana Jones when he puts the wrong weight on this pedestal and then he's followed by this boulder. Rolled for perception, like, that was not too good. You notice too late that the walls and floor have begun to shift. A series of small holes appear. Oh no! We have a split second to react. There are arrows coming out. Drop the idol. Now it will kill me, I hope. Please. I grab the idol and still try to make it out of the chamber. You grab the idol before the trap fully activates. You sprint towards the only door on the right, clutching the idol tightly. As you dash, the holes in the walls release a barrage of darts. Most of them miss you, thanks for your quick re reflexes. So we rolled a, seven, a 14 with a total of 17, which is good enough. But one grazes your arm to two damage. You notice a mild burning sensation in the wound, which indicates the dart may have been poisoned. Oh my god. Fortunately, it seems the dose wasn't enough to significantly affect you. So now we have seven of nine health. Closer to death, one step closer. You burst through the ornate door into the more elaborate corridor. The walls here are covered with intricate frescoes depicting mythological battles and ancestral glories. You hear the faint sound of shuffling feet echoing from deeper within the tomb. I want to know what's going on. I walk towards the footsteps. Like again, a reckless move. The shuffling sound grows louder. As you turn the corner, you come face to face with a skeletal figure. Now we're talking like this small halfling fighting a skeleton soldier. Attempt to engage the skeleton. Yes, let's go. Bam. Okay, so lots of action going on. You swiftly draw your dagger. Ooh, very good attack. We are so lucky. We give it six damage. Your dagger finds purchase between the bones, dealing six points of damage to the skeleton. Like inside of the ribs takes damage. All right. Shudders, but does not fall. The skeleton swings its rusted sword at you. Come on, hit me! The skeleton's sword grazes your side. It deals damage. You take four points of damage. A sharp pain radiates from your wound. Like, three of nine hit points. Oh my god, this is amazing. Hopefully we die soon. You tech land successful again. The skeleton's bones rattle and clatter to the ground. So this is a very figurative description. You can really feel like the sound. You, f you hear it with immediate Threat dispatched, you take a moment to clutch your breath and assess your situation. Your wounds are aching with the 3 HP remaining. You know you need to proceed with extreme caution. Soon to die. Search the skeleton for items. Like Maybe there's something useful. A lot of useful stuff. A, an ancient key. Awesome. So now we have a, also a, a tattered map fragment. We are not that eager to follow rules and maps. We are a criminal. We just proceed recklessly. You maintain a brisk pace through the dark dungeon, ignoring your instincts to proceed with caution. The stone walls and floors blur past you. Suddenly the floor goes way beneath you, triggering a pressure blade. Yes, you fail to notice. Dexterity roll is not the best. Damage from the fall is eight. You plummet into a concealed pit and land hard at the bottom, sustaining severe injuries. One of your arms is twisted awkwardly and the pain is excruciating. Current HP minus five. With your hit points, we did it. Reduced to minus five, you succumb your injuries. The last thing you see is the indistinct shadows of the tomb's cold dark walls closing in around you. Your journey ends here, overwhelmed by the ancient dangers of the forbidden tomb. So this tomb is now my tomb. End of the campaign. You, thank you for playing. The risks of adventuring in such a perilous occasion have claimed you this time. So we could start again. I would really like to. But the next time we do this, you know what is now coming. The next level is to take exactly this prompt and put it into Fably AI. So we get the images and we get the text to speech. And you don't have to visit any playgrounds or anything and just select the template and just click play. And I hope that you stay for another short minute as I will quickly show you how easy it is to prompt ChatGPT 4.0. I will put this into the description actually so that you can copy and test yourself. Let me play a Dungeons and Dragons adventure, including character sheets, dice rolls and everything that goes with it. Like just throw everything at me that is inside of Dungeons and Dragons and it just does it. 
create a random character for me. Like to make it faster, I could also say, I want to do the character creation. Choose any campaign also to speed up the process of starting into it. As the game master, do not inform me that the poten of the potential outcomes of a dice roll before it happens. So this I included because I noticed that it said, if you roll this, this will happen. If you roll this, this will happen. Just because I did it in 20 minutes, I just wanted it to be quick and see if this works. Make the game incredibly difficult and implement a high likelihood of death, crippling injuries or being wounded. If you watched my previous videos, you will see that I think in the end I put like five different rules in there to make it possible to die. Like with examples, like if you get hit in the arm, you could lose your arm, you could die, you could bleed to death, blah, 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 blah. And it never actually managed to kill me. And I'm so happy. This was my first try. I am so happy that it worked out that it killed me. Maybe I will I will name this just JetGPT40 finally killed me. Roll dice on my behalf. So this is also what I noticed. At first I said, give me a button where I can roll a dice. And then it always gave me a small link and I had to click it. And this was like not the best outcome. I just said, now roll the dice for me. Yeah, this is also just to make it quicker, more accessible. Number options with letters that must be chosen. Always mention that text-free response are also possible, like A, B, C, D, and also free text. Do not include the free text possibility as a numbered option. I just don't want this. I think it's weird if you say D, free text, and then it asks you again, so it's an additional step. Include injuries as stat reductions and always describe the injury. Also keep track of hit points. For example, climbing is very difficult with the broken arm. Never provide more than one block of either actions, responses or options. Like sometimes it gave me A, B, C, D, like what you say to someone and A, B, C, D, like where you go in one, yeah, in one response. This is what I said it should not do. And in the end, I did this in less than 10 iterations in less than 20 minutes, I swear to God, and with the other ones, it took me days to get them straight. Always use common sense. This is the thing that I said, like, don't allow like something idiotic or stupid make sense, never allow actions that are stupid, instead provide a more a suggestion for action. Do not allow statements or assumptions about things that I have not ha that have not happened and are simultaneously unlikely. Whew, this is the prompt. It sounded like a lot, but I explained a lot also. And I hope that it helps you as game creators to copy these prompts and test your own games and maybe make it easier for interaction in the Fable AI where you can now easily create prompts and templates for other players to play or for yourself and someday even in multiplayer with other players at the same time. And the next time we will put exactly this prompt into Fable and see how this goes. Bye-bye.